Welcome to Electron Online and here we have three more connections. Now, these connections are a little bit more complicated in how they act upon the forces that are impinged upon them. For example, we have a beam connected to a structure which is attached to the floor, so it's fixed on the floor, and we have a pin here connecting in such a way that the beam could move back and forth, so this is what we call a frictionless pin or hinge, so the beam can move, but since the beam is then connected to something that cannot move, which is connected to the floor, there will be two forces acting there. Any lateral force on the beam that way will then translate to a reactionary force on the floor, and any weight-bearing force pushing down will be responded to with an opposite force in the opposite direction which means we will always have a component of the force in this direction, so we'll have a y component, and we'll have some sort of x component to compensate for any force acting in the lateral direction or sideways direction. So this would be x component of the force, which means that the resultant force will come in at an angle. So this will then be the resultant force, called f total, to some of these two, and there'll be some sort of angle between them, let's call it angle theta. So there you can see that there'll be two forces acting on this particular pin or hinge to compensate for forces in the vertical direction and the horizontal direction. Likewise, when we have a support right here, there's no pin connection at all, but there is friction here, so mu is not equal to zero mu is not equal to zero, so there's friction, and that friction then will also provide a sideways force acting on the contact point right here. So we still have the weight-bearing component, so we'll have a force in the y direction compensating for the, the weight or the object pushing down on the floor, and then we'll have a sideways component to compensate for the friction between the object and the floor. So we have an x component, we have a y component, so therefore we have a resultant, and that resultant will then make an angle, let's call it theta, between the vertical and the direction of the force. Now we have a situation like this where we, for example, have a post which is sitting in the ground, and because of that we have three components here, we have two force components and a couple component right here, and you'll see in just a moment why. First of all, the, the, weight lower, the weight will be supported by a reactionary force in the y direction, and any sideway force, any force on the beam in the sideway direction, will be compensated for by the, by the embedment of the, of the post in the ground, for example. Uh, this could be a structure, this could just be a post in the ground, it could be various numbers of connections, but if it's fixed like that, there'll be a horizontal component. And then also, any kind of force sideways, if you push against the beam this way, this way, it'll cause a rotational moment, which means that the ground or the structure that's embedded in will then offer a moment, a couple that responds to that particular uh, rotating force, or I shouldn't say rotating force, but a force that would cause rotating motion, that would be a better way to say it. So there also will be a moment about this point right there. So three things will happen. We'll have a vertical force, we have a horizontal force, and we'll cause a moment or a couple as well. And that's how we will then know how to handle rigid bodies. When they're in equilibrium, we'll be able to sum up all the forces at any point on the body, any contact point on the body, and we'll be able to sum up all the moments at any contact point on the body as well, or any point on the body if you want to. And that's how we know the difference between how to handle the various contact points on the various objects we'll be looking at with a number of examples coming up. We'll be doing examples in two dimensions first, and then we'll move on to three dimensions, of course, that's a a little bit more complicated. But again, if you follow these contact rules, it'll be a whole lot easier to solve the problems. And that's how it's done.